what's up? This is Paradigm 7 here. Welcome to my newest episode of my NASCAR review show. As I review, well, well, since we are practically at the halfway point of the season, I just thought it would be um, um, a perfect time to discuss what had, what had happened in the first half. Obviously, we see some we see some close finishes. Um, close finishes. Um, rookies have been on the road, like such as oh yeah, um, Chase Elliott, and Ryan Blaney. These two have been really good. Um, Martin Truex Jr.'s dominance at Coke 600 at Charlotte. And there, of course, in, well, in, in, well, of course, we got those close finishes, such as the Daytona 500, the Phoenix race. Mm, yep. Talladega was somewhat insane, I mean, especially those crazy wrecks. Fortunately, every one of them is okay. Anyway, wow. But wow, that was actually a pretty good first half of the season. And of course, especially that last race at Sonoma, man, man, that was also a crazy finish. <laughs> crazy finish. And so, and so what, NASCAR and Fox, obviously, um, th th they did a great job. They did a great job broadcasting the first like 16 races of the season, so all credit goes to them. So great job, guys! So now makes to see how NBC and NBCSN, like they said, they'll take it from here. <laughs> all right. So anyway, guys. So anyway, guys. So anyway, guys. So enjoy the second half of the season. God bless. And then I'll tune in. Oh, by the way, oh, and oh, by the way, the Daytona race is tonight. So, anyway, guys, so I'll see you maybe immediately after the Daytona race. If not, then I'll see you tomorrow as I do um, my NASCAR review show as I review the Coke Zero 400. Which, by the way, there is right here. All right, guys, take care. Adios. Peace. God bless.